Hi, this is just a short video to give you a suggestion of what you could do for the MP3 that you sent over. Um, I have the MP3 here and I just drag and drop it into the mixing screen. As you can see here, when the person you're interviewing is talking, there is very, very little sound wav there, which is not particularly great. So, what you could do is boost the volume. So, right click and select boost max volume and because it's so low in the actual waveform um, what you could do is boost the volume to a thousand so right click on the on the volume bar in the track name and then select max volume a thousand and then pump it up and then what you could do is insert a, a volume envelope so when you click on this button here, show volume envelope, a uh, volume envelope comes on up, which is a red bar. So bring it down where you can see your voice to a normal level and then click on it to set up a node and then do another node to say where you want it to be boosted. And then click on another node here to bring it back down again to its original or to a volume where you think it's acceptable so here I've got it down to 18 and you'll always get a readout of the volume level so it's at 20 percent so if I play that there you can see the volume the volume of the person has actually gone up so you can hear it a clearer but a lot of the static that's in there on the file will also be heard because you're boosting everything in the file so you know, you you will have a, a a lot of static there because of the quality of the WAV where the interviewee is speaking. Now you could also set up a loop region over that area. So just double click on the on the time bar and then uh, stretch it out. So this loop region is going to just play this area that you that the user is talking about so you might want to take the snap to grid off so you can adjust this so just click on the snap to grid and then just set it over the area you want so it's quite boosted already so then maybe right click on it and then select audio effects and first what I'm going to try and do is put in a triple blue cat triple EQ effect so click on that and then you see a blue grid effect is up so what I want to do is just reset the node to um, have no nodes there at all and just control it so that it's the whole length of the effects grid like so and then when I click on the segment properties of the effect you get the blue cap triple Q up there so then you can play around with it and uh, and uh, adjust the effect to improve and try and get rid of some of the noise that is in there. Another thing you could do, so I have um, I have the blue cat triple EQ and I click apply on that and then I can adjust that. Now if you wanted to boost it even more we have a blue cat gain. So I have the I have the um, EQ in there, and I've adjusted it to what sounds pretty good. Still, quite a bit of static in there, but that's on the file. There's not very little you can do about that. And then I can go to audio effects again and Blue Cat Gain. And again, I'll just right click on the envelope and select Reset Envelope, and then click on the segment properties of that area and then click make sure the loop play is on and then I can I can gently try and gain it don't again it don't again it too much so you're actually boosting up the voice but you're also boosting up a lot of the um, access noise in there as well so it will be you know you're boosting up all the signals there so that's uh, really my only suggestion of how you can boost up the uh, interviewees voice and bring down your own and uh, try and get it um, 
so that the listener can hear what the interviewee is saying. Um, I hope that helps, and uh, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.